Hello everyone and welcome to Soul Stained Ink. My name is Beth and I'm filming a Reading Rush TBR video. Nothing like the last minute to decide to join in, right? However, I did want to film a TBR for you guys, so this is my official throwing my hat into the ring Reading Rush TBR. Now the first prompt is read a book whose cover matches your birthstone. Now my birthstone is an amethyst and I don't really have any purple books. But I did find the Sea Garden which has these lovely purple flowers there. And also if you look at the naked hardback it is this gorgeous light purple color. I have an amethyst that has this gradation in it. So that is what I'm going to be reading, and I've owned this for a couple of years and have no earthly idea what it's about. So that'll be fun. The next prompt is to read a book that starts with the word the. So I read the first chapter of this book last week and ended up deciding to save it, and that is The Bookish Life of Nina Hill by Abby Waxman. Uh, the first chapter was absolutely phenomenal and made me giggle a lot, so I'm hoping the rest of the book will be the same. So there's that one. Now book three is read a book that you've already seen the movie for, and the only option I could find in the house was Scooby-Doo, The Fright at Zombie Farm. It's one of Elena's um, library books. And it is a you choose. I'm very excited about this, guys. Um, I may read this one outside as well, but I have a few options for that. Um, this Scooby-Doo is by Lori S. Sutton. And we have watched everything available for Scooby-Doo at this point. I even just finished writing a six-page essay writing sample um, over why Scooby-Doo is so popular. Uh, yeah. We love Scooby-Doo, is what I'm telling you. All right, the next prompt is read the first book that you touch. And the first book I touched was Quintessence. Whoop! Quintessence by Jess Redman. Uh, this was a recent Alcrate Jr. book, I believe, and I'm excited to read it. Again, I don't really know what it's about, but I will insert a clip of Elena mixing up the books and me picking them right here. Okay, Elena, I need you to mix the books up. I'm going to close my eyes. I need you to mix them up real good. And then I'm going to pick one. And that's going to be the book I read for the prompt, uh, the first book you touch. All right, go. And just spread it out on the table if you haven't already done that. Okay. Did it, did it. Are you ready? No. no. If not switched, then we're switching up. And I have the book I want. Okay, it's frozen. Done. All right, well, where do you want me to pick? Uh, right there. This one? Yes. Aha! With only a little coaching. So, Quintessence by Jess Redman. All right. The next prompt is read a book outside of your home. Um, since it's so stinking hot, you can also, you know, read by the windows, have outdoor noises, or have something uh, be outside. So, there's not outside in the title of this one. But this is another recent Alcrate Jr. book. It is The Girl and the Witch's Garden by Erin Bowman. Um, obviously, it is about a garden and outside. So, if nothing else, I will read that one. I do have a couple of audiobooks and a couple of short trips I need to take this week. So, I may end up listening to audiobooks for that. And if so, I will tell you when I wrap the week up. Alright, the next prompt is... Read a book in a genre you want to read more of. Um, originally, I thought this was in a genre you don't read much of. Uh, I think it's kind of the same thing. Um, I chose True Believer by Jack Card. Um, I do also, I did go ahead and purchase the Audible um, audiobook for this one. But since I have his physical copy, I think I will read physical copy. This is the second book in this series. Um, I don't know what the series is called, the Reese series or something. Um, anyway, I read the first book a couple of months ago, and this is a 
kind of true crime, Navy SEAL, bent on revenge. I don't know. There's a lot of true things in this series. The author used to be in the Navy, I believe. Um, he was in the military. Anyway, y'all don't need to know all that. You just need to know I really enjoyed the first one. And this is like a true life army type of book. And I'm looking forward to reading this one. And then the final prompt is read a book set on a different continent. Now, I'm not 100% certain where Thomas Wildus um, is set when he's in the real world or in our world. But he doesn't stay in our world for very long at all. He goes into a fantasy world. And I have this, uh, the Thomas Wildus and the Wizard of Sumeria, which is the second book in the series. And I was sent this arc right before I moved, and I really need to get it read. I've had it a couple of months, and everything's been so crazy, I haven't been able to pick it up. So I am choosing to believe that him being in the fantastical realm means that he's not on the continent of North America and... I can read this for that prompt. So there you have it. I have seven books. I probably will not get all of them finished, but I do intend to do my best. All right, this is Beth from about two minutes in the future. I sat back and looked over at my side table and realized I had two books I forgot to mention to you. Um, Elena it doesn't want to participate in all of the reading rush, but we watched the beginning of Netflix's new Babysitter's Club series and she immediately wanted to read so she has Christy's great idea that we've been reading together and this is her uh, book that she's reading during the reading rush. We are going to finish that up next week and then this is a possibility for the read outdoors. This is The Familiars by Adam J. Epstein and Andrew Jacobson and uh, Christy's great ideas by Ann and Martin by the way. I just assume everybody knows about the Babysitter's Club. Uh, the Familiars by Adam J. Epstein and Andrew Jacobson. And I also have the audiobook out of script for this one. Uh, so this is an option that I may be listening to on my trips. And so that may fulfill the read a book outside of your house prompt. Um, but anyway, those, those really are all of the books now, guys. Like I said, hope you have a great day. Stay safe. Bye.